Hi, in the next few videos in this C-sharp tutorial, we're going to learn three things. We're going to look at lists, then we're going to talk about while loops and for loops. So let's look at some of the upcoming examples of things that we're going to make. First of all, we're going to make a program called List of Friends. It's pretty simple. We're going to add a list by putting in a name and then choosing the Add button. And we can sort the list too, so we can sort it in descending order and ascending order. So the key idea in this program is going to look like this. We're going to make a list of friends. We're going to have something called a binding source. And then we're going to take a count of the number of friends that we've added to our list. So that'll be the friends list. In the next application that we're going to make, it's called the loan calculator. We're going to add a while loop. Now a while loop allows you to calculate something in a repetitive manner. And so you can see in this app, we're going to have a loan for $500. And we will, in this example, calculate four months of interest. And so you can see that the list is going to increase in the value of the uh, monthly payment. And so that will use a loan calculator. Now the key idea behind this program is listed here. And don't worry, we'll go through this code one line at a time. But the idea is that you can see that there is a while statement. And the while statement is going to repeat a process multiple times. The last app that we're going to do in this section is a for loop. And we're going to use a math formula for calculating the squares or the power of two of a number. And so you can see in this calculator, we're going to have a starting number such as three and a maximum number such as 12. And for each of those numbers, we're going to go count one by one until we uh, get to the, the upper limit. And for each answer, we're going to calculate the square or the power of two for each of these integers. And so the key idea behind the square calculator is going to show up here in this statement called the for loop. A for loop allows you to start at a point, end at a point, and do a repetitive process in between. And so those three programs are what's coming up next.